Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about a Ruins Greatsword build that I've been doing. It's been pretty solid. If you're not familiar with this weapon, it's the Strength Int version of the Blasphemous Blade. So if you're looking for a similar playstyle, but a different type of damage, a different look, then this is for you. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and hop in and do a couple boss fights so you can kind of see the power and how it works. Alrighty, let's kill. I'm on my way. I need to get that uh, magic scorpion. So let's uh, let's try to kill this uh, this person on New Game Plus Three, which is his friend, Crystal Greatsword. And this. All right. Ah. Not nice. Ooh. Hey now. All right. Let's get this flask up and going and then let's see if we can... Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, baby. This is essentially the strength in version of Blast in this place. Oh. Oh. That wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice at all. And there she is. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Alrighty, let's uh, let's. Spicy one. All right. Hopefully you saw how strong this weapon is. It's this is new game plus three that I've been playing on, and it has been absolutely crushing bosses as I've been running around collecting stuff. As I didn't even have my last charm whenever I was fighting Loretta or anything like that. So, where do you get this? Uh, you get the Ruins Great Sword over here at Redmain Castle Plaza. Now, there's a Misbegotten and a Crucible Knight fight in here, but you have to remember that if the festival has begun, you have to defeat Star Scourge or Dawn to get it. Other, But if you can get in here before the festival has begun, then you can go ahead and do it. So it's either before or after. If the festival has started, then you're going to have to kill Radon before you're going to be able to get to this boss fight. <coughs> so... Uh, but the cool thing about that is is that the fight's not too crazy bad, so you can actually get it relatively early compared to other weapons, So, which is it's a lot better than, you know, the Blasphemous Blade, which is all the way up here in Volcano Manor. All you have to do is, you know, go run to an area that's right next to where you start, so that's really nice. So you can get this kind of up and going relatively quick, assuming you can get to the 50 strength that it requires with the Sore Seal, and with a little bit of farming, though, it's very doable because it just requires 50 strength and 16 int, and that is it. So just put everything into strength. All right, so Frenzied Flame Seal. Um, to get this, you have to do Hiatus Quest Line. If you're not familiar with that, it starts after you pick up a Shabriri Grape, uh, after you kill Godric, and then she's going to be standing out here. You give her the Shabriri Grape, and then you have to pretty much walk around and find other Shabiri grapes, and which then takes you eventually to where she's going to be in the subterranean shunning grounds by the uh, Three Fingers, if you're familiar with that ending. And then once you do that, you'll be able to get that Frenzied Flame Seal. But the other option is the Erdtree Seal, which is kind of what I would recommend for people that don't want to do that quest line. And that is just in Volcano Manor, so when you get to the Black Rose or Black Church Prison Town, side of grace it should be you just have to walk down the stairs and kind of wrap around so instead of going towards where you would go to fight Rykard you just take a right and keep going down and there should be an omen killer and there's a corpse that it's on down there so uh, that being said the next thing is going to be the silver tear mask I just use this because I use some dragon incantations so that's always fun uh, the Elden Lord 
uh, Elden Lord armor just because it looks cool. I'm a big fan of all the cold sorceries, so I I kind of have some cold sorceries and uh, and other and other such equip just in case I want to use them because since this is a strength int build, it does give you a nice cross into using some other stuff. So. If you're looking for a scepter to use to kind of mix in maybe a little bit of magic with this, you can go carry in a regal scepter. It does require a pretty high amount of int to use it though. Uh, you can go Lusats, you can go Meteorite Staff, uh, or you can go uh, the Academy Glintstone Staff. So the Meteorite Staff is going to be pretty good. Uh, the Academy Staff outscales the Meteorite Staff from like 60 to 68, but if you don't really care about that much min-maxing, just use the Meteorite Staff until you can until you have the int to use this but that's going to be you know to be able to use a 50 strength and a 60 int weapon it's going to take it's going to be a little bit before you're able to farm up and get stats like that to be able to wield both of them but when you can it'll make a nice little uh nice little mix of damage and spells but you don't really even need spells you can just do this and kill everything all right so for Seals, I use Carry On Filigreed Crest because it just lowers the FP cost, so I can spam more. Radagon Sword Seal to give me extra strength, dex, vigor, endurance. Uh, it gives you plus five, I believe, and it's also really easy to get. You can get this from. Uh, you can get this from Fort Faroth. Now, the Carry On Seal, you actually have to do some of Blade's quest line, so that's going to be a little bit difficult to get. Uh, Shard of Alexander greatly boosts the attack power of skills. There's a lesser version of this you can get, but I would recommend doing the quest line for this. However, this is a late game talisman because it takes you all the way to Crumbling Faramazula before you can actually finish this quest line. And then Magic Scorpion Charm. So this, God, this item is so annoying. I'm going to be honest, this, this item is so annoying to get because you have to do the Nephili Lu quest line, right? And you have to get the Nephili Lu quest line to a certain spot. And then you have to go talk to Saluvis and do part of his quest line. And then you have to go give her a potion. And then you have to run all the way over. It's just, uh, it, because in order to get to the point where you can, even if you run and get the item that it takes for him to give it to you, in order to unlock the ability to even give him the item, you have to go do all that extra stuff. Because you have to do the Nefeli Lu puppet thing in order to get him to tell you about his scheme to try to stop Ranny. And it's... You essentially have to do like two quest lines to get this, but it is worth it because it is like a 10-12% damage increase, so obviously like, it is worth it, but it just beware that this one is, I think this one was more annoying than all of, than this and this to get, and I don't even know why because it's not, because you can actually get the magic scorpion charm pretty early. I think all you have to do is have killed Godric, and then you need to be able to get to the Chapel of Anticipation, which is pretty easy. All you do is go to the four belfries because you're going to need the stormhawk ashes and stuff like that I believe and you also need to be able to go to the village of the Alvernax so which is just right no that's not it yes it is I'm crazy yeah village of the Alvernax right here uh, that's going to be where one of the Nefeli Lu locations is okay uh, after that using the mimic tier pretty simple why because then they have another one so you're both doing it uh, I like to use the Magic Shark Crack tier and the Opaline Bubble tier, so it makes it to where you don't really take damage, so you're kind of just able to spam uh, a bunch of attacks. This increases your damage by 20%, and then after that, I am a pretty big, pretty big fan of using some of these buff spells, like, where is that? Did I pass it? Oh, I probably did. Like Golden Order increases attack and defense, so using that, then using like Blessing of the Earth Tree um, is pretty good. So uh, mixing in some miracles in here isn't too bad if you have if you have the faith for it. Obviously, this takes 25 faith to get, so that's just another requirement. If you run around that, I have it, so I do it. But yeah, so let's see here. So to get the um, Magic Shroud Crystal tier. Uh, you just have to come right over to this minor Ur tree, kill the Ur tree avatar there, and then to get the bubble, the bubbling tier, uh, come down here and kill the miner or the Ur tree avatar down here. So you can get the flask fairly easy, pretty early on, and it really allows you to just kind of, you know, sit there and blast. But all right, 
I think that's going to do it. Hopefully this build helps you. Uh, if you haven't seen this weapon, I highly recommend trying it out. It is absolutely super fun, and you will crush even New Game Plus, the base game, and New Game Plus with it just because of how early you can pick this bad boy up. Alright, thanks for watching.